Hi, I'm Sheila. Welcome to my channel. And today, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish the or do the part two um, video for my um, the part two version of my uh, color tattoo collections by Maybelline. They look like this. I told you all I will come back with my part two and uh, let you see the rest of them. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. I have thirteen more that's in my collection. Um, I have not been able to find the ones that go with the bloom or the blushed um, collection by. Um, Maybelline. It's a new collection, but I have not been able to find them. And I wish I could because they have some beautiful purple, lavender shades, and pink shades and things. But I'm, I'm on a hunt to try to find them, and I haven't been able to find them. But this is the rest of my collection. I love to collect these uh, color tattoos because I just love them. They are great bases. They're great to wear alone, just on themselves you know just wear them alone they are good so you don't have to use them as bases um you can even use these as eyeliners like i stated in the part one video so yeah let's go ahead and get started you guys let me show you the rest of my collection of these all right this one right here is in the shade called too cool looks like this it's called too cool and it's just this pearly white shade which is great for a base uh, for eyeshadows and I'll show you on my hand here it's just this pearl white shade that is the shade called too cool I love that shade as a base for my eyeshadows. Alright. That's the shade Too Cool. Alright. The next one is in the shade Barely Branded. This one is a popular one. A lot of people love to uh, use this one as a base. And I do too. And I like to use it as an eyeshadow. It's just this beautiful pearly pink um, champagne type of color as you see on my fingers or on my finger. It's just this beautiful color you'll see here. It's a pearly pink champagne color and it is great for bases as a base. See how iridescent it looks as well. So this is barely branded. That's the color on my hand right there. Okay, that's a popular one that I hear a lot of people talk about. The next one is Tough as Taupe. It's also a popular one. This is one that I really, really like. It's gorgeous. Especially if you're going to do a smoky eye. And I see you guys that I am going to have to, like, I'm going to have to repurchase a few of these. Because once they dry out, they can be a little chalky. But I try to use them to the best of my ability to, I try to use as much product as I can before I repurchase. But this is Tough as Taupe. And I can still use it because it's still creamy. See there on my finger. It just looks real dried out in the um, package or in the jar. But this is um, Toughest Taupe. See there, that's really good. That is good base for smoky eye. And you don't have to put an eyeshadow on top of this one. This one looks great. It's tough as Taupe. That shade right there. It's beautiful. And you can wear that one alone. I have many times and I love it. Let me get a wipe and wipe my fingers off. All right. The next one is uh, Audacious Asphalt. It's just this really deep gray um, 
eyeshadow color or whatnot, eyeshadow base. Um, this one has almost dried out. I do have to repurchase another one of these, but it looks like that. And this one looks like this on my finger tip. And this is how it looks on my skin. It's just this beautiful, um, like I said, this beautiful gray tone base. This is Audacious Asphalt. It's beautiful. For a gray smoky eye, it's beautiful, you guys. Very beautiful. I've used it before um, and created a gray silver smoky eye. And it, it just worked perfectly. It's really good. The next one is Bold Gold. A lot of people like this one, and I, so do I. This is Bold Gold. And I love this one for any kind of golden looks that I want to create. As you can tell, I've used a lot of this one. It is just beautiful. Uh, it's just a beautiful color to work with. And you'll see here just how beautiful this shade is. And you can use this also for like neutral eye looks. Here it is. This is the shade Bold Gold. It's just beautiful. Look at that shine on there. Anytime you want to do a neutral or a natural sm smoky eye or just a natural uh, eye look, this Bold Gold color is awesome as a base it sticks out the color but yet keep it neutral as far as the eyeshadow so it's beautiful okay the next one uh, is this uh, color called bad to the bronze it's also a good one for that natural neutral eye uh, look you know eyeshadow look and it is just gorgeous. This is how it looks like in the jar. And even though that one looks a little dry, but it's so creamy. That's how it looks on my fingertip. It's beautiful color. It looks a little purple to me. Um, it says bronze, but it's like this bronzy purple taupey shade to me. Uh, but that's what I like about it. Here it is. What is it called? I don't forgot it already. It is called Bad to the Bronze. Yeah. This is called Bad to the Bronze. And I just love it. It's taupey, bronzy, and just uh, per got a little purple color to it. I love just how it has those three dimension of colors. So this is Bad to the Bronze, and it's a very popular one as well. Love that one. When I want that bronzy look, but I want a dimension of colors with the bronze, or if I'm using two or three different kind of bronzy shades, I love to use that one for that uh, particular eye look. The next one is Ink in Pink. I do like this one, however... I don't use a lot of pink eyeshadows, but I'm starting to get into pinks um, or red tone pinks more than just pink. But this is beautiful. That's how it looks in the jar. And this is how it looks. It's very creamy. This is one that I had to repurchase. Um, but it's very pretty if you want a purple pink. Um, type of eye look. So that's uh, inked in pink. That is very beautiful. I did a look one time. It was pink and purple. And I used this uh, as a base for my pink eyeshadow. And it was gorgeous. And then one time I used it alone. And just put some uh, deeper purple in the corner um, of my eyelid. And it was so pretty. So this is inked in pink. It's very beautiful color. It's just that light pink petal color. Love it. The next color is a favorite. This one just... Hold on. Hold on for a minute. Hello? Okay. 
Shauna. Huh? Charlotte wants you. Just keep the phone back there. Okay. Okay. This next cooler, I'm sorry you guys, my daughter got a phone call. But anyways, this next color is a color tattoo by iStudio from Maybelline. And this one really sticks out my brown eyes. It's the same color that I have in the crease. I did not use this one. I used just an eyeshadow that's very similar to this one. This one is called Pomegranate Punk. And it's just a very beautiful um, I don't know what you call this color, like a cranberry, a deep cranberry color. Uh, it's a pomegranate color. Yeah, pomegranate. So, yeah, this is pomegranate punk. And this is so pretty with my brown eyes. I will have to repurchase soon because it's starting to dry. That's the only thing about these. Once they dry out, you do have to repurchase. But I don't mind it because they are worth the money and they are very beautiful there it is right there you guys pomegranate punk right there that is a beautiful color it especially it's beautiful on all eye colors but i for me on me this color sticks out my brown eyes and it looks beautiful i don't care what kind of product this color whether it be an eyeshadow or an eyeliner or a, a color tattoo whatever it is a gel liner it always you know it always stick out my brown eyes and i just love that color in general now we're going to get to some brighter shades so what i'm gonna have to do you guys just so you can take a look at these shades one more time. I will have to wipe my hand off unless I use this hand. I can use this other hand. All right, these are more brighter uh, tone colors or bright tone or right. These are bright colored um, color tattoos from Maybelline. This one is the Fierce and Tangy, which I love. It's just this bright orange shade is called a uh, fierce and tangy and it looks like this let me see if i can this one i haven't used much of it and it's almost dry but i'm gonna work with it until it gets so dry where i can't use it <laughs> that's just how i am okay so This is it right here. All right, that's Fierce and Tangy. It's just this bright orange shade right here. It's very beautiful, but mine is getting dry. We'll have to repurchase. But this is Fierce and Tangy. All right. That one is time to repurchase for sure, like right now. All right, the next one is, let's see. This one is called Tenacious Teal, and it looks like this in the packaging. And this is how it looks in the inside. It's the Tenacious Teal. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite favorites love this color you guys i've used it many times as an eyeshadow as well as a base and you'll see why i love it so much it's just so beautiful this is tenacious teal isn't that gorgeous that is so beautiful like oh love this color tenacious teal is the name of this one beautiful just gorgeous and i use it a lot it's just a gorgeous color the next one is also a favorite of mine it is the um shade edgy emerald and it looks like this okay edgy emerald and this is how it looks uh it's just a beautiful uh green 
like a almost like an aqua green cooler but it's an emerald it's emerald but it also look kind of aqua colored okay um it's just one of my favorite as well and i'll show you this one on my hand and i love these colors these two colors are some of my two favorite bright colors that they have available I love them both. So this one is Edgy Emerald, right? Yeah, Edgy Emerald. That's that one right there. Edgy Emerald, right there. There's the shade, Edgy Emerald. Beautiful, beautiful green. Just gorgeous. Looks good with green eyes, I mean, looks good if you have brown eyes too you know green looks good in my opinion with with brown eyes i don't know why i said keep saying green it looks good if you have brown eyes i just think green eyeshadows and blue eyeshadows i think they look good on you know if you have brown eyes but of course it don't matter what color your eyes are you pick whatever you like that's what i do because some of these colors i wouldn't consider like very beautiful with brown eyes but I get them anyway and wear them regardless you know if I like the color now this one right here is called painted yeah painted purple this is a favorite of mine it's very bright as well and it's called painted purple and it looks like this called painted purple there it is painted purple that's the shade beautiful painted purple that's a gorgeous color. That's it right there. Love that color as well. So beautiful. And then the last one that I have is Electric Blue, which is one of my favorite colors. Love this one. Uh, I love it, okay? It's very, like a deep, deep blue color. It's just gorgeous. And you'll see why I love this color so much. It's so beautiful all right let's just put this right here just like that all right electric blue right there electric blue the name of this color all right that's gorgeous i like to use that alone i don't even like to add a color on top of it it's just so gorgeous but yeah you guys that is my collection that's the part two of my uh collection on the uh maybelline color tattoo um eyeshadows i hope you enjoyed all of those swatches here's the other hand where I begin with all the colors here on this side and then this is the bright colors um, that I have and I love them I cannot wait for summer so I can start really wearing these colors however a couple of them I will have to repurchase because they have dried out but yeah they are starting to dry out but yeah but you get the idea as to how they look okay so yeah that's all the colors right there so i hope you enjoyed this uh part two version of my collection like i said of the maybelline color tattoo eyeshadows i love them like i said i use them as eyeshadow bases i use them as um eyeshadows i also use them for eyeliner but you do have to use like a 
concealer. Like I use the ELF sealer on my um, lash line and then I add the um, color tattoo on top of it. Or you can use some kind of glitter glue and just apply the um, the color tattoo color that you choose to use on top of the glitter glue and create your own colorful uh, eyeliner. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that collection of mine because I just feel like they, you know, some people talk about them now and a lot of people don't talk about them anymore, but I really, really like these and I hope I'm able to find the new collection. It would be so wonderful if I could find the new collection of these. Um, I will grab them as soon as I spot them. So yeah, I'm going to let you all go. So I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, so you are beautiful and stay beautiful. Mwah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>